for me to get to this point, I didn't neglect my family, but I couldn't have both. If I was gonna be here, I could not have stayed in Dallas, Texas. I couldn't have been up under my granny all day. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have been at everything I missed. Mm -hmm. I don't regret missing it because it got me to this point, but mm -hmm. now that I'm at this point to where I can go back mm -hmm. and have make my own schedule, I have mm -hmm. enough money to make time. Now I need to make the decision to make time. Mm -hmm. I need to fix that hurt. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that goes into a lot when you're really chasing your purpose and walking in your yeah. purpose. There's yeah. so much sacrifice yeah. that comes along with that. Yeah. My son's birthday is tomorrow. Those are sacrifices that you make when you're doing what God has called you to do. Chasing there are purpose. sacrifices that have to be made. I remember when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't have a bed for six months. And I would cry to her. I would call her. I wasn't crying to her for help. I right. never asked her for money. I never asked her, like, I wasn't crying for her to be like, I need to move back. I just wanted support. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Even then, she was like, just come back home. She don't get it. Mm -hmm. If I would have went back to Pleasant Grove, I would have still be been in her kitchen doing sewings. Mm -hmm. And I made good money. Mm -hmm. That just wasn't my purpose. 